What's up you guys? I'm back with another video. Today's video is gonna be another reaction video you guys. I realize that you guys are liking the reaction videos so I'm gonna do another one today. I'm reacting to the most scariest like paranormal ghost videos. Uh, we're gonna see if they're real. We're gonna see if they're true. I just wanna tell you guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Welcome new subscribers. Welcome, welcome to the gang, AKA family, welcome. I just wanna say, if you don't know who I am, I am Nando. Welcome to the day of my life. New to my channel. Click that subscribe button, like this video, and hit that bell to be notified. So, I can post new bangers for y'all, and we're going to keep going up. So, if you stop by my video, I appreciate you guys. Do subscribe, show some support. Uh, comment down below, you're a new subscriber, and I will welcome you in the next video. Alright, so, warning. I want to tell you guys, if you guys are really creeped out, and you guys are the kind of people that you don't really mess around with the paranormal or you're not curious about it uh you don't have to but if you want by all meaning that's on you at your own risk i have nothing to do with you getting scared or having nightmares so please you guys if you guys can't really watch scary videos don't watch it just saying disclaimer warning so right now what i'm about to do is click this video this is my first time watching this video i've never seen this video so what we're gonna do we're gonna play this video right now and yeah you guys are gonna see my reaction to certain things and then from there we'll go all right so let's start this video right now top five ghosts caught on camera hidden over on the YouTube channel, Believe, a paranormal experience, the ghost hunting team is investigating a haunted bar in the small town of Schiller Park, Illinois. The place has been here since 1889. The bar is original to the building where our banquet room is. It used to be a, a general store, a mill depot, a uh, gas station. It was kind of a railroad uh, bar back in the day. It, it was a speakeasy through pro Prohibition. We had gambling downstairs. The, uh, from what I hear, we had the girls upstairs. and. The uh, place has been consistent through through the years. The bar is said to be haunted by the creepy ghost of a sad little girl. The evening bartender Tammy shared an eerie photo with us that was taken by a frequent customer. The customer had witnessed a shadow figure, so we snapped a photo. Okay, before we even get further into this uh thing, uh, I just want to say I'm not I'm not. Don't take this the wrong way, you guys. But I feel like certain ghost hunters are not real what they say because it's on camera you don't know if it's real you don't know if it's fake some of them lie and some of them be telling the truth so i don't know just saying and managed to capture this creepy image on camera in this photo you see what appears to be a young girl looking directly into the lens she seems to be wearing an old-fashioned outfit throughout the belief investigation they pick up several strange EVPs. How many spirits are we talking to? said to be haunted by the ghost of a little girl had been caught on camera outside the woman's restroom. Well, when one of the team members checked inside that restroom, she caught something very bizarre. The photo of the little girl had been taken directly outside of the women's bathroom. Our EVP analyst, Marsha Mack, jumped on the case and headed into the washroom in an attempt to communicate with a girl. Is there a little girl here? bathroom? Are there any women in here with me? Did you see it? As team member Marsha pans her camera past one of the bathroom stalls. Whoa, that 
is so creepy. Bro, nah. Nah, I can't even tell if this is real or fake. But that is some scary BS right there. We, let me tell you, because, like, you guys ever went into the bathroom store, like, in the movie theater or, like, in the mall or whatever, and you see how quiet is it, and then you, like... Like, I know this might sound real creepy, but I watch too many horror movies. <laughs> and every time I go into a public bathroom, I literally look under each stall to make sure there's no one there. Literally. Because it's creepy. You're, like, using the bathroom. You know, you're doing your business or whatever. And then the next thing you know, you just see feet just come down out of nowhere. Like, that's creepy. So that right there gives me the chills because it makes me not even want to go to a public bathroom after I seen this. I'm going to just be real with y'all. She catches what looks like a small child peeking through the crack in the restroom door. You can actually see something move in front of the crack of the door as if peeking out and then move away as if to hide. The restroom was completely empty. So did the Believe team catch a ghost on camera? You decide. You can watch their full investigation over on their YouTube channel. Graveyard Shift. Francisco Ojeda works as an overnight security guard. He claims that late one night at work, he caught this chilling video. No mames, güey, necesito que alguien venga, güey. Eh, se escuchan cosas, güey, y no mames, se escucha la puta regadera, güey, del puto baño, güey. No mames. Necesito que alguien venga, güey. Me estoy cagando de miedo, güey. Al chile, güey. Oigan, güey. No mames, güey. No prende la puta luz, güey. No mames, cuchi, güey. You see, I'm getting scared right now, y'all. Bro, that scared the f out of me right now. Like, let's just keep watching. Let, let's keep watching. No mames. No mames, wey. Hay alguien, wey. A la verga. No mames. Su puta madre, wey. No mames. No mames. Some creepy pale face seems to be peeking around the corner at him. Francisco Ojeda claims that the video is 100% real. But what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Alright, I just want to tell y'all before I even stop this. I just want to say, hold on. If I literally give you guys like... I give you mad respect if you if you work in the security if you a security and you work in the graveyard and you doing late night security I give it up to you shout out to y'all cause y'all some hard workers but yo I can imagine the most scariest things that y'all guys ever like probably like freaking went through or like seen like I'm gonna be honest with you this could have probably been someone or this maybe could have been a spirit. I don't know. The thing is why I'm saying it is because people say like cemeteries are like are peaceful places. I don't know how true is that, but I know cemeteries are like the most scariest places that you can ever go at night and, you know, try to investigate or whatever. There is literally 99.9% .9 that you're going to see something. I kid you not. Me personally, I wouldn't be doing this because for the thing like this is because I'll be terrified to go take a leap and then I got to see this. Nah, you see? Nah. <laughs> Yo, nah. That is some scary. That's scary. The ghost of Piazza Square. In the former Soviet Union in the country of Georgia, there's a place called the Trade House of Piazza Square. In the 19th century, the house served as the private residence of a large family. 
but it has now been converted into a museum. However, it seems that some of the former tenants might have never left. Workers at the museum claim to have had many paranormal encounters, and some say that they have even seen the apparition of a man with a gray beard wearing hunting clothes. The museum's alarms go off without explanation at all hours of the night, but nothing can be seen on the security cameras. That is, until this one particular night. The music... The museum alarm went off, and the night guard was shocked when he checked the CCTV. That's fake. That looks so fake. I'm sick. That is so fake. Yo, what the hell? How my battery died so quick? I just finished charging it. Nah, you see? Alright, we're gonna continue this video before my battery dies. Now, normally I would dismiss a video like this as a simple bug on the lens of the camera. But this clip looks very different. Very the shape fake. seems to emerge from behind a wall and it's make a path through the you room. You can do that in your video. changing shape and color as it goes. This is definitely not what a typical bug on the lens video looks like. And trust me, I've seen a lot of them. But what do you think? Is this a ghost call on camera or just a very odd insect on the lens? You decide. The old lady in the cemetery. So, over six months ago, I featured a video by YouTube ghost hunter Franco TV. He was exploring a cemetery in Florida late at night and caught some very bizarre and disturbing things. What the f? What? Holy crap. There's a man sitting in the chair. There's somebody legit inside the room. Frank records an elderly woman who seems to be visiting a crypt, even though it's very late at night and she's all alone. But when he goes back that. to check a few minutes later, no one there. But as he continues to explore the scene, Bro, cemetery, that's so scary. Get truly bizarre. Wait. Oh my God. What the. Bro, that shit just gave me the fucking chills. Oh, hell no. Oh, my goodness. Homeboy is literally talking to a lady that had passed away. Yo, this, if this does this right here, if this, yo, I, 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 my, my anxiety is through the roof right now. If that doesn't, like, Yo, if this doesn't really like get through your head like this, things out there and this proves it. I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> it went up my lap. <clears throat> if this doesn't prove to you that paranormal is real and spirits are real, I don't know what the hell to tell y'all. I gotta rewind this. I gotta rewind this. Look how she just looked at him and just went, look right up. Like, what? Yo, I would have been, first, I would have probably been terrified, let's see. Second, I probably would have, I probably in my right mind wouldn't even know what to do. I will probably be like, miss, like, you okay? Like, if, you know, you from the other side, like, can you tell me something? Like, I would do something like that. I would literally be like, yo, like, this is between me and you. I know I can see you, you know, even though you passed on. You just let me know where your grave is at and I'll bring you some flowers if, 
let me tell you, like, I'm not even joking. I'm being so serious. Like, stuff like this is like signs and messages, especially if you get it from your loved ones. Like, take that as a sign. You gotta rewind that. You gotta rewind that. Hello? Ma'am. Do you need help? Do you need help? Yeah. Not doing that. Oh, bro. Now, keep in mind, this is late into the night. Understandably, Frank is a bit freaked out and decides to just make a quick exit. For obvious reasons, this was one of Franco TV's most popular videos. And his fans demanded that he return to check out this creepy old cemetery. He did, and it didn't go well. Frank go A keychain grappling. Yo, I wanna go there now, I wanna go investigate. That looks scary, but it looks fun, but. Nine. I'll probably do it with people oh, if I ever did. There are so many options to pick from. Wires. I'll probably go with people, but not go alone. Frank goes into the crib where he first spotted the elderly woman and starts to hear some very strange sounds around the graveyard. I hear rustling. The strangest of all is something that Frank catches by accident while walking out of the crypt to investigate the creepy sounds. Alrighty, y'all. Uh, um, my battery died. I had to let it charge for a bit, but we're going back. Right. We're going back to this uh, scary video. Let's just get it. Some strange little face, or whatever this is, seems to peek out from behind the crypt wall as Frank exits. What the heck? Oh, nah, that looks scary. Look like a skeleton. Watch both full investigations of this cemetery on Franco TV's YouTube channel. Lurking in the shadows. Explorer Hassan Barbar is exploring an allegedly haunted house deep in the Jordanian countryside. First, Hassan begins to hear a strange noise from somewhere in the building. What the hell? Snap. You see, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, like me, like people doing investigations alone, especially entering an abandoned building that's haunted and it has history. I personally think that's a bad idea because you just don't know who's in there. You don't know if there's a serial killer. You don't know what if people attentions. You don't know. And the fact that he's in here by himself with nobody, this dude is crazy. But shout out, to, like, shout out to him because he got balls. Because I wouldn't be able to do this. Bismillah. I have a feeling something's gonna pop out. And later in the video, it seems almost as if something is thrown at him. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فيش في صوت مطلع او نا يو سي هاي كانت Now, on the surface, it seems like that's pretty much all that happens in this 15-minute exploration video. But keen-eyed viewers in the video comments noticed that there were other creepy things going on in the video. Things that Hassan didn't even notice. Whoa, yo, y'all saw that? No. Yo, he is tripping. Did you see it? On the top. Some weird dark mist can be seen flowing along the ceiling and then just seems to disappear. Mm -mm. Later in the video, another odd occurrence. Bro. You saw that shadow figure? Oh, nah. You see, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me take that back. It could be a shadow figure or it could have just been someone watching him and creeping on him. And who knows their attentions? Like, this is exactly what I mean. Like, those of you, if y'all watch my videos and y'all do, like, YouTube videos or y'all, like, go exploring, even if y'all don't post it on YouTube, I think... Me personally, I wouldn't go into abandoned places by myself because of reasons like this. You don't know that could be a stalker. You don't know if it's a spirit or you don't know. It could just be someone being a creep following you around trying to scare you. You know what I mean? Like, you just got to be careful. And again, I ask, did you see it? As the sun is panning around the grounds, there is a small shadow in this doorway. As if someone or something is peeking out at him. That's so weird. But when he pans back only seconds later, nothing there. Hassan decides to leave as he pretty much feels like he isn't finding much. Only when he reviews his footage later does he realize that something seemed to be following him as he explored. Thanks for watching. You can submit or suggest videos. Alrighty you guys, I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video and if you really enjoyed this reaction video uh, Leave a thumbs up comment down below Let me know what videos I should also do a reaction video because I kind of like doing these for you guys I I really enjoy doing them um, Don't worry. I'm gonna come back with the bangers. I'm still gonna be doing vlogs. I'm doing everything so those of you that um, are new to my channel I do everything I do a little bit of uh, mukbang a little bit of box reviews mostly vlogs um, I do a lot of crazy funny things I do pranks I got pretty I got a few pranks in mind uh, I don't know when those will be coming so hopefully when is the right time I'll post it but other than that I love y'all always remember be you do you stay you and I see you in another video peace